Expecting you today? Yeah, well, I thought I'd bring the post from home. It were mounting up, and well, I didn't know if any of it was important. Oh, it's thoughtful of you. Oh, I've just remembered something. What? Uh, my credit card, it's overdue. Oh, well, can't I deal with that? Would you? Be a weight off my mind. Checkbook's by the telephone. So, have they not said when you can leave? No. Would well, you want me to have a word? Well, the doctor's coming round later, so let's wait and see what he has to say. Oh, it's your call. I'm going to have the place spotless for when you get home, though. <laughs> David, there's no need. No, I want to do it. Listen, I'm going to be looking after you and, until you get better, right? Thank you. But shouldn't you be at work? Yeah, I'll have taken the day off. I thought what's more important, looking after you, or just brewing up for some blue rinsed brewings. <laughs> Well, I hope your grand doesn't mind. No, we shall have to deal with it. Well, I suppose a bit of space between you two won't hurt. Not the way things have been. No. I'd rather be with you anyway. So, can I get you anything? A cup of tea would be nice. Coming right up. Hello, so, how are you today? Yeah, a lot better, thanks. Doctor says I could be discharged on Friday. Oh, oh, that's great news. I get the spare room all made up. What for? For when she comes out of hospital, of course. Yeah, she'll be coming on with me, Gran. I'm going to be looking after her. Oh, don't be ridiculous. No, it's right, Mum. Oh, okay, come on. How can he look after her? He's a lad. Well, I'm the same age you was when you had her, and she somehow survived. Anyway, you've made it perfectly clear what you think of me, Gran, but I am an adult and I am going to be doing this for you. And if you've got a problem with no, that, No, that's to... enough, David. I want to go home, ma'am. I can't wait to get home. And it's important to David that he looks after me. Well, that's what you want. You know where I am. We appreciate that. Don't we, David? Yeah. Of course we do, Gran. Now, come on. I'll just run the hoover around and give everything the wants over. I don't think so. We'll be fine, honest. Oh, all right. Well, no huffing and puffing when your mum asks you to do errands, right? And keep the tea flowing. Don't wait to be asked to put the kettle on. Oh, now, yes, now, there are two throws in the airing cupboard. Now, she'll probably need those over her knees, cos you get quite icy when you're sitting stationary. Come on, I'll, I'll get, get them. Gran. It's OK. We'll sort it. <sighs> right. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. Hey. She's well on your case. Nah, she's got you paranoid. It's a party piece. All right, well, what if your mum remembers? I mean, what if she walks in here and it all comes flooding back? It'd be like a reconstruction, only she'll be in it. That's why they do it, to jog people's memories. What memory? She's confused at Weatherfield. All right, well, what if it comes back? It's not going to happen. You don't know that, David. I do, though. Trust me. Her short term, it's shot. Oh, darling. Hey, welcome home. We can sing a bit of Peter's and Lee if you uh, like. I'll pass, thank you. Oh, there we go. Back on terra firma. Yeah, well, this thing makes it look worse than it is. Hey, good to have you back. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We can manage from here, thanks. Uh, look, would you mind just holding on just a second? Are you sure you wouldn't prefer to come back to my place? Ma'am. I can take better care of you, Gail. Grant, what is your problem? Uh, no disrespect to David. I'm sure he'll do his best, but I... Yeah, all right, all right. Shut up, Audrey. Keep your mouth shut. Sounds good to me. Thanks again. Right, come on, then, and let's save these wheelies for later. <laughs> you just keep your eye on the road, you. He's just what the doctor ordered. Yes. <laughs> You all right, Mum? So frustrating. 
Yeah, but you shouldn't rush it. I must have been up there. And then... I just can't piece together the little bits I do remember. Yeah, well, you're stressing yourself out now. That's no good. It's just one big blank. Look, Gran will be on the phone to social services if you get stressed, so... Whoever that is can do one. <laughs> what a charmer. Yeah, well, you need your rest. If I get any more rest, I'll go spare. I don't think she's really up for visits. Well, I'll not stop one. Sorry, she's searching my timing. Is that Eileen? Yeah, I'll not keep you, Gail. Let her in, David. Hiya. Oh, I um, uh, brought you these. Oh. <laughs> That's really kind. Well, I'm not stopping. I just wondered if anything had come back to you. I mean, I'm sorry to pile on the pressure. But you'll do it anyway. The last thing I remember is that slanging match with Jason. I'm sorry. Do you honestly think he'd leave you lying there, Jason? No. I don't know. I wish I could remember. Look, I think he'd better go. If I could clear his name, I would. Yeah, well, I'm sure it'll come back to you. I'm convinced of it. And in the meantime, I'm in very good hands here. David's missed his vocation as a bouncer. Thanks, Bill. Don't worry, it's only me. Oh, dear. <sighs> Told you David could manage. Yeah, well, I hope you haven't been overdoing things. Godly. Shazam. I'd be very well looked after. I've got flowers from Sarah, chocolates from Eileen, and David's gone to the library to get me a stack of corny romances. Mm. Poor Eileen. It's a phrase I never thought I'd say. Well, with the police breathing down Jason's neck. Yeah, I know. Jason would never leave me lying in a heap. Mm. Never say never. You can't remember, can you? Anyway, it'll all come out in the wash, won't it? Come on, love, you look tired. Try mm. and get some sleep. Tina and I can have a catch-up, right? We'll get to the bottom of it soon enough. Mm. Oh. She's dead to the world. Oh, I think they do a good, eh? It's nice to get away from that central heating, isn't it? A bit of fresh air. <laughs> well, it's nothing like the smell of the old wheeler bin. <laughs> You've got an answer for everything new, Mel. <laughs> uh, just a minute, Tina. Um, you know you said David was with you? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, just tell me again what time he came round to your place. Quarter past four. Sorry? Quarter past four. Oh, right. Well, that's very precise, isn't it? Quarter past four. Oh. Yeah, well, it was. It was quarter past four. No, can I go in, please? I just wanted to know, did you make a mistake? I mean, you could have been confused, lovey. No, I get confused all no, the time. No, I wasn't confused. Well, maybe David was confused, right? I mean, listen, maybe you thought it was later, but it was David that said it was quarter past four. No, no. I remember the big hand was on the three and the small hand was on the four. Tina, I know how persuasive David could be. We've pussyfooted around him for the last few years, just even sweet. And I know what a terrible temper he's got and all when he's pushed about. I really don't need to hear this. In fact, I don't think we've done him any favours at all because he's turned into a very nasty, angry young man. Well, like I told the detective, it was at mine at quarter past four. Yes, and I don't think I believe you, madam. So if you're lying to protect David, I think you should say so. Oh, get off my case, will you? I've made my statement. I think underneath all that, lovey, is a very truthful girl, and I don't think it lies easy with you to lie. Can you get out of my way, please? You must love David so much to lie to the police. Do you know what you're getting yourself into? Oh, Tina, come on. There's still time to put things right before things go spiralling out of control, which they will. So come on. Now is the time to tell the truth, leader. Your mum's back, then. Good news travels fast. How's your memory? She still knows all the words to yes, sir, I can buggy. 
for as for the important stuff, say who pushed her down the stairs? Gone. For now. Oh, for good, for all we know. You. Oh no. Because when it all comes flooding back, she'll remember who shoved her. Yeah, she might. I'd probably leave country if I were you. I hear Milan's quite nice. I haven't done anything. Yeah, tell it to magistrate. Won't be surprised if it was you. You know, I'd love to stay and listen to your fascinating theories, Jason. It's just I've got stuff to do. Mum's expecting her library books. Chicklet, if you're interested. I don't think she's really into whodunits. Look, no one's buying your blue eye boy routine, OK? You can twist this all you like, OK? The bottom line is you was having a row about Sarah and you lost it. When I left that house, Gail was alive and kicking. What, are you sure you were your girlfriend? Stay away from my property, OK? And stay away from my mum. Or I'll have you done for harassment. You know I'm innocent. And she'll remember, and when she does it, it'll all come on top. Coronation Street continues in half. I should get you some arnica. I've never heard of it, but apparently it makes you feel better. <laughs> oh, David. What? Is it wrong? That's what she said. No, it's right. I never thought I'd see my David running round Weatherfield trying to find little goodies for his mum. Yeah, well, you just take a couple of pills a day, something. David, put the kettle on, will you? I think that hospital's dehydrated me. Well, I don't believe that. Tina, you all right? Yeah. I thought you said you are going to be five minutes. Have you been round about? We're not. Just having a catch-up. Do you want to come and help us with the shopping? Tell you're upset. Am I right? Just tell me. It's nothing. Not really. She just. What? We were just chatting for goodness sake, David. She keeps on asking me about the day. You know. What's happened? What's going on? Nothing. Ran's upsetting Tina. Making out that she's a liar. I don't know why she's doing I it. I have but... not called anybody a liar. Going over and over. When you got to mine, when you left. Couldn't I be wrong about the time? Ma'am. I was just chatting. I thought maybe if she could remember somewhat important. Right, there's nothing to remember, right? She wasn't here, just like I wasn't. I'm sorry if that disappoints All right, you. David, no need to get worked on. Oh, well, if I can't even chat to the girl. Ma'am, yeah. stop it. <laughs> we will not have Tina nagged and bullied. She doesn't deserve it. There you are. Ooh, thank you. Got everything you need? Yeah, she's got me and Tina to worry about that. I'm being very well looked after, thank you. Feeling very spoilt. As long as they don't go off and leave you stuck here on your own. Grant, why do you always think the worst of us? I mean, me, all right, I'm used to it, but what's Tina ever done to you? I'm not arguing with you, do. I just don't understand it, Mum. What's in it for her? Why does she want to make it look as I've done this to you? I don't want anything of the sort. You know, it's bad enough getting it off Jason, but my own Grant. He should know better. He's right, Mum. We've had enough arguments and suspicion. I'm tired. I just want to rest. David and Tina are looking after me, and so far they're doing a very good job of it. Right. Well, I still can visit my own daughter, I hope. Visit, yes. Interfere? Look, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I thought you were spending the evening with Gail. Yeah, so did I. Well, they are meeting Jason. We're celebrating getting the contract. Six months' work, if it all goes well. But you don't look like you're in a party mood. <sighs> David knows what's happened to Gail, Bill. I'm sure of it. And that young Tina isn't as wide-eyed and innocent as she seems. I mean, simple question. She's twitching with nerves. You didn't say anything, though, did you? Oh, no, just a few gentle questions. Well, you keep this up, and Gail's going to tell you we're clear off. Ah! Well, she's more or less done that all right. Uh, she's made it perfectly clear she's siding with David. <sighs> Bill, I am so worried. I mean, here am I, just, what, 100 yards away? Could be 100 miles away. No, all you've got to do, keep friendly, eyes and ears open, and keep that mouth of yours shut. Yeah, I know. Just smile and nod, but say no. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, Bill, I hate it. But knowing... 
that she's in that house practically helpless and David's ruling the roost just like he always wanted to. Yeah, just about. It's not going in it. Listen, I'm not going on. Yeah, you are. Are you sure you didn't say anything to Audrey? I said what you told me to say. My grand's a real expert, you know. About getting stuff out of people. Yeah, well, you shouldn't get anything out of me. I didn't drop you in it, all right? Yeah, all right. But... And I'm sick. People asking and asking and looking at me funny, then asking again. No, no. I'm sorry, don't let it get to you, all right? It's just me and my big mouth. She's asleep. A light, so? Yeah, she's asleep. Well, I can see the light off the telly in the window. OK, she's asleep. Well, when she wakes up... In the morning. Tell her we came. Well, I'll try and remember. And I... Leave them too. This time of night. They won't leave us alone. Yeah, well, who cares about them? It's everyone. No. Them, Audrey. I can't go around to the corner shop without someone asking stupid questions. Yeah, Tina, everybody just wants to know my mum is, yeah. that's all. And has she remembered anything? And and the look at me. <sighs> sort of. Tina, you're just imagining it, babe. No, I'm not. I have to lie, and I hate it. I hate the way they pretend to believe me. All right, stop it now, yeah? I don't know how long I can keep this up for, David. All these lies. Come look after her, you know. If you want to get off somewhere, you know, take a break. It's OK. I would come with you. I just think that one of us should stay here in case she does remember anything, that it, it's us that she tells it to, you know, and not some nosy neighbour. Then what do we do? Knock her over the head, make her forget again? Maybe. can you come up here a minute? Yeah. Look, I know none of this has been a lot of fun for you. Fun? What? The abortion? I'll wait for your mum's memory to kick in, land us in jail. Yeah, well, you don't have to stay here, you know. <sighs> Or somewhere else, I'll be thinking I should remember, Jack. David? Yeah. What? Well, don't worry. Keep smiling. Keep my fingers crossed. Oh, and keep lying. Mind taking me out, do you, Tina? No. Of course not. Shame to interrupt David when he's enjoying himself so much. Oh, yeah, I'm loving every minute of that. And it won't be for much longer. Feeling a lot stronger. I really am. Oh, good. Oh, thanks, love. You all right, Gail? I think I am, yeah. I was uh, thinking of coming over later. Yeah? Well, you know how tired you get, Mum. You don't know what we do it, do you? See how well looked after I am? No wonder I'm feeling better. Yeah, well, obviously, I wouldn't stop if you were feeling tired. You, I'll see you later. Did I not make myself clear? You're not leaving that house until I've had my rent. And you would have, but you haven't got a cash point in your kitchen, have you? So I better go find one. I'll see you both later. I was going to get my hair done. You are? When I had the accident. It's coming back to me. I know it's not important and it's bits and pieces, but it's coming back. Are you trying to reach something, but you just can't quite get hold of it. And you stretch, and you stretch. You just can't quite. But it is getting nearer. I feel it is. There's uh, yeah. some teas and coffees. Thanks. Thanks. It does have its compensations, like being waited on hand and foot. Yeah, I can see. Uh, do you want one? Uh, no. So, um, do you remember anything else about when you were talking to Jason? I'm sorry to go on about it, but I have to. It was down here. Yeah, I, I gathered that. Definitely down here. 
because I think... Well, I think I do. I'm... I remember... Yeah? I remember him going. Going? Leaving. Leaving the house? And I remember him leaving because he slammed the door. And I remember thinking, why does everybody slam that door? One day somebody's going to slam it and it's going to just drop off. I remember, I remember thinking that. And this was before your fall? Must have been. So when you fell, he'd gone, he'd already left the house? I remember arguing. It was about Sarah. Something he thought I'd said when I happened. Well, never mind what it was about. I mean, the point is, Jason had left before you fell. He must have done. And that's what you say now? I mean, that's what you believe happened? Where's Tina? Uh, she's, I think she's... She's gone outside. So, you argued whatever it was about, and it was down here. Yeah. And then Jason left. He went through that door. Yeah. So he'd gone when you had your fall, which means he couldn't have pushed you. I just couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, I know. Well, no, except you don't, David. You don't know. All the time I was out with her, she was going on about how her memory's coming back. It's like she can feel it happening, going on and on about it. I nearly said, let's get this whole thing over with. You want to know who pushed her? It was your David. Listen, shut up. No. <sighs> right. Maybe she won't remember. You know, just some of it, but not all of it. What? So we'll still be lying and pretending. All the time, scared to death about what's going to happen next. Because it's that that I can't stand. You don't get it, do you? I want her to remember. I want her to. And then this whole thing will be over. Mum? Why didn't you call me? <laughs> David. You know you find it difficult by yourself? Hmm. Usually helped on my way, aren't I? That's a bit, you know. Well, I might not be getting my mobility back in Ori, but I can regain my sense of humour, can't I? I don't remember you having one in first place. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I was biting off a bit more than I could chew. Oh, come on. Where's Tina? Uh, she's at work. She won't be back till the end of the day. Oh, it's a shame. I enjoyed having her as a sounding board yesterday. I just feel that the more I can talk about it, the more I'll remember. Yeah. I told Graham I'm not feeling very well. Who the hell's Graham? My boss. Don't you ever listen to anything I say? So, how old's this Graham? I don't know. Fifty. I'm watching you. Sure. So, what's up with you then? Stress. What do you think? Listen, the only way she's going to work something out is if you start flaking. So you better learn just to keep you cool. Oh, what? You're going to throw me down the stairs and all? You alright, Daryl? Oh, you alright? Then you need to, uh, see Lauren? No. <sighs> it's just, uh, we've been trying to phone her, but she's not, not answering. She's using you. Hey, so dumb, you can't even see it. She's not using me, is she, mate? Yes, yeah, she is, mate. Still, what is it to say? Better to get treated badly and not get treated at all? No. Better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Mm. Check out the GCSEs on McIntyre. Oh, shut up. Where are you going, anyway? I'm um, going to chemist data for Ironside. You're going to be all right? Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Whoa, what's up with you two? Oh, shut up, Daryl. So you... The time, I mean, deja vu, for example. Oh, well, I, I, I can tolerate that. I mean, it's relatively inoffensive, isn't it? Mm. Hey, hello, love. How's Gail today? Fine. Has uh, anything come back to her? No. Well, you give her our best, won't you? Yeah. Come for a paper, have you? <clears throat> What's that? I said, have you come for a paper? No, um. Oh, I can't remember. Oh. Cigarettes, chocolates, and magazines. Right, Tina, what's the latest? What? 
Have I ever heard Gail spoken to the police again? No. I don't know. Sorry. Tina? What with all this? Me like this, wondering how an able-bodied 49-year-old ended up at the bottom of the stairs. I just wish I could help more. I wish I saw something. Or, uh, or I knew something. Saw something? Well, you know, if I would have been here, if I had something, I could tell the police. But if you had, you'd have told them, wouldn't you? You'd have told them already? Yeah, of course. I wasn't here, obviously. Are you feeling better? Yeah. Yeah, fine. I've taken some tablets, so it's easy enough now. I was at the top of the stairs. On my own. I'm sure Jason had gone. But there's something... Something... elbowing its way back into my mind. Yeah? I think there was another argument. I'm sure there was another argument. Must have been on the stairs. <sighs> it's a funny thing, you know. Memory loss. It's like looking through a fog, waiting for it to lift. But I've got a very strong feeling it is going to lift. And when it does, I'll know. Tina? What's the matter? I'm going home. Tina? Tina, if I've put too much pressure on you, I apologise. Come and talk to me, though. I just feel that by going over and over it... You see, I think I'm starting to remember. The argument. I think it's starting to come back to me. I think David might have come home. I think he might have been here before the accident. Tina? I'm sorry, I can't take this anymore. Tina, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know anything. Was he here? Right. Yeah, why shouldn't it be? Well, you're allowed to pick them up and browse, you know. Uh, we were asking about your mother earlier. Is, is she any better? Yeah, she's all right. Oh, good. Who were you talking to? I beg your pardon? When you were asking after her. Oh, uh, why are you looking at each other? Well, we were talking to your Tina, as a matter of fact. It is Tina, isn't it? And? Well, she seemed a little bit fragile, if you must know. Yes, well, we, we just, you know, asked if there'd been any developments and, and she shot through that door like a cyclone. We didn't know if we'd said anything to upset her. Nor did Jason. Well, what's he got to do with it? Oh, he was here. Don't you think we're finding it hard enough? With my mother practically crippled? David, I think you've got the wrong end of the stick. Or maybe he hasn't. Oh, hello, David. How's the invalid? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's all right. Well, you will tell her. If there's anything she needs, Deirdre and I are more than willing. Right. Hey! That wife of yours is highly strung, isn't she? I beg your pardon? She's reaching a certain age, Molly, but she could do without people like you shouting across the street about it. No, no, I meant David's. She was stood in here before for, like, 20 minutes, like a waxwork. Dad kept calling her Tina Two-Sword. <laughs> How long do they think she'll be in the wheelchair? Not long. Tina? Oh. She's gone. 
Haven't gone where? Home, I think. What have you said to her? I haven't said anything. Come on. What have you gone poking your nose in this time, Mother? She seemed upset. Was it any wonder? All we do now is run round after you, fetching your prescriptions, wheeling you up and down. I remembered something. What now? What do you remember? You. You're what I remember. I think you might have been here. I think we might have argued. I was at Tina's. Well, I told you. you. I was at Tina's. I told everyone, all right? I've told the police. Everybody knows I was at Tina's. Had you just found out? About what? You're not making any sense? You were here, weren't you? You were here when I fell down these stairs. I was nowhere near you. We were at the top of the stairs. Both of us. You're going mad. You know that. You finally lost it. Did you push me, David? Will he own up? Find out in half. I was cleaning the cooker. You knew I'd been talking to Jason. You knew about Tina's abortion. You wanted to run away. No. I tried to stop you. We were both upstairs. You were so angry. It must have been you. No. Jason had gone. You're completely wrong. I wasn't even here. You know, I don't know what's going on in that head of yours, Mum, but you're all mixed up. Maybe there's something in the painkillers, or... Maybe you want to believe it, I don't know, but what I do know is I'm not staying around here and listening to this pack of lies. David! You all right, mate? Yeah, fine. Hi, it's David. Is Tina there, please? Look, I need to see you. Turning into a woman. Oh, please, don't make me throw up. Now, why would you want to throw up? Because you're trying to talk to me like an adult. Yeah, but I thought you wanted to be talked to like an adult. Not by you. Because I am trying to help. And what makes you think I need help? Well, because the way you were looking at that chef, Paul tells me that you need help. You saw that? <laughs> oh, yes, I saw that. Sucker. What? I was doing it to wind you up. To wind me up? Yeah. And you are so easy. Relax, all right? When I'm ready to start the dating game, I will pick someone a lot more unsuitable <laughs> than Paul. Yeah, all right, now, don't play games with me. No, you know who I really fancy? Uh, uh who? Pete Doherty. I don't know, maybe <laughs> someone a bit more dangerous. Now you are winding me up. Oh. You see right through me. Uh, yeah. And then he pushed you. He must have done. But you don't remember him actually pushing you. I know what happened. Where is he now? Gone to Tina's, I suppose. She must have lied to cover for him. He wasn't with her when it happened. You should call the police. No. Oh, Gail. If it was David. If! I thought you said you knew. I don't know why.
why he did it. Well, I'll tell you why he did it, shall I? He did it because he found out you'd help Tina have an abortion, that's why. Not starting there. Your mum knows everything. I... I didn't tell Can I get you out? Uh, no, we're fine, thanks. No, oh, one drink between two, is it? This is a cafe, you know, not a social club. Yeah, what do you need pain to leave me alone? Please, Becky, I just want a minute's private. All right, well, when you do want something, you know where I am. I didn't tell her. Honest, I didn't. She says she took your stuff. She was going on at me. I couldn't take it anymore. She was asking questions, trying to work it out. I had to get out. Yeah, well, you didn't have to take your stuff. Dina, you can't leave me, not now. I never knew you'd be like this. Listen, you've got to back me up. If she remembers everything, then what's the point? The point is, my mum's going to hate me for the rest of her life. She's going to think I tried to kill her. I can lie and lie all you want. But it's just going to be her word against ours. I know they're going to believe her. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. It's over. We're finished. No. Yeah. Tina, you're the only thing keeping me going right now. Do you know that? If you bail out on me... I don't... Over. Just give it time. It'll be all right. I can't do it. I need you. I'm sorry. But I love you. Tina, if I can't be with you, then nothing else matters. Yeah. We should have thought about that before you push your mum down the stairs. She helped you have an abortion behind my back. Yeah. And it was my idea, not hers. You should be angry with me. It's, it's not going to work. Tina, I can't let her find out the truth. I just can't. I won't tell anyone. Ever. I will lie for you. But we're not going out anymore. OK, I I've got to go. No. No, please. I'm sorry. On the house, love. I'm sorry, it couldn't be something a bit stronger. Thanks. Look, I still say we should call the police. Would you call the police if I shoved you down the stairs? I certainly would. Well, maybe not at once, but. Do you know if it were mine, I'd have the local cop shop on speed dial? Well, he's not yours, he's mine. Yes! And he left you for dead at the bottom of them stairs. He's still my son. <sighs> of course he is, Gail, I know that. Darling, it is not your fault that he's the way he is. So whose fault is it? Well, these things happen. It's in his head. I mean, the wires are connected right, I don't know. <sighs> but we both know he's capable of doing some hurtful, terrible things. And you know, one day it's not just going to be broken bones and ruined weddings. One day he's going to kill somebody. Oh, that's ridiculous. But Bethany poisoned, Jason falling off the balcony, you being pushed down the stairs. Gail, that lad has been really lucky so far. Any of you could have died. You all right?
The thing is, um, Davy boy, I really need to lock up. I ain't had my tea yet. Bet you know my guts rumbling from there, eh? Grrr. <laughs> Staffed. I know it's daft, this is a cafe, there's loads of food knocking about, but, um, don't feel right eating where you work, do you know what I mean? All oh, right. Right. Great. Have a nice day! Say something. Well, if I had my way, there'd be a police car waiting for you outside. I didn't do it. David. We know you did it. Why did you do it? There's no point talking to you. I mean, both of you stand there all judge and jury. You, you've driven Tina away from me and now you want to get me locked up. I was never here, all right? I didn't do it. He's lying. I just want you to tell me the truth. What's the point? I try talking to your mum, but you can't hear me. And, and you'd rather believe lies. Oh, come on, girl, let's get going. What do you mean? Going where? David, do you honestly think I'm going to leave her alone in this house with you? Huh? You've tried to kill her once, my lad. I'm not going to give you another chance to do the same. Stay back in. You know, you don't have to go. Well, I know I've done some things in the past. But I wouldn't. Don't go, please. All I want to hear is the truth. Your mind is playing tricks on you. All right, it's, it's all in your head. It's as though it's a false memory. I mean, if you think about it, like, really try and think, you'll know it wasn't me. You were in the house. I remember that. No! I was at Tina's! All right, how many times do I have to tell you? It's all in your head! Hey, 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 hey! Back off. We're going, right? Come on. Mum, 